Hello, it's Ginger Snap again. In this video, I'm going to teach you about Woodville Day Camp's camp lingo. We're first going to talk about what camp lingo is, and then jump right in and learn Woodville Day Camp's camp lingo. Before we begin learning about WDC camp lingo, we need to know what is camp lingo? Camp lingo is the vocabulary or jargon we use at camp. We use certain words or phrases that many people that have not been to camp have never heard. But you need to know this lingo or vocabulary to understand what we're talking about at Winville Day Camp. In some of our other videos, you might have been confused when we refer to camp as WDC or talk about WDC. So what is WDC? WDC is what we call Winville Day Camp. If you'd like to learn more about Winville Day Camp, you can watch our What is Winville Day Camp video. What is the barn? The barn is a big red barn at the start of camp. The barn is WDC Central. The barn is a location for the morning meeting, meal prep, the lunch line, the WDC library, the health supervisor, and where you can usually find a core staff member willing to answer your questions. We use the barn as a place to meet up when core, PAs, and PATs set up camp and unload the truck starting at 8.30 and when campers arrive at 9 and when camp starts at 9.30. The barn is also located right next to the Biffies. The truck is what WDC uses to keep all camp materials and gear at camp throughout the week. The truck is parked at the barn. Each morning, the truck gets unloaded prior to camper arrival. Each afternoon, prior to closing flag, the truck is packed up again. Unload time is at 8.30 a.m. and is completed by CORE, PAs, and PATs. We load everything up at the end of the day, this includes all unit boxes, daily supplies, tarps, and many other vital materials for our camp. Our WDC storage unit is located in Winville and is our yearly storage. Now, you're probably wondering what a Biffy is. Biffy stands for Bathroom in the Forest for you. Our Biffies at camp might also be known as Porta Potties. Well, can boys come to camp? or is WDC an all-girls camp? At WDC, we have a boys' unit. It is a camper unit made up of the sons of our volunteer staff. The boys are grades K through six, usually multi-ages, and often split into younger and an older group. In this unit, we also have PAs and adult leaders. This unit goes through similar stations like, as the other units, like fire, flag, and cooking. They also do opening flag Friday morning. We also have a unit at WDC called the Pixie Unit. The Pixie Unit is a preschooler unit for children of volunteers. The kids will become future Girl Scouts or members of the boys unit. The kids also must be potty trained. They usually wear fluorescent colored shirts the week of camp and hang mostly near the barn. Is there a system that makes sure campers don't wander off? Yes, at WDC we use a buddy system. Every camper needs a buddy. Normally we assign or let the girls choose in some way their camper buddies or a truddy, which is a group of three, for each girl in your unit. This helps make sure girls are kept safe and from getting lost or left behind. This is especially important when walking anywhere as a group or when a girl needs to go to the biffy. Always stay with your buddy. The group that decides each spirit day is called Camper Council. Camper Council is a time for units of multiple grades to come together to vote on the theme for the next days of camp. Each day of camp follows a different theme as chosen by our campers. Examples of popular themes include Twin Day, Crazy Hair Day, Dressed as Your Favorite Disney Character, Pajama Day, Stuffed Animal Day, and many more. Our spirit director will coordinate the spirit day. The core staff at WDC is a group of volunteers who work and plan in the months leading up to camp, managing the business, registration, program, and staffing of WDC operations. Core staff wear a different colored t-shirt so that they can be easily recognized by volunteers and sought out for answers to your questions. In past years, the core staff have worn dark purple shirts. Capers are chores done to help out at camp. Each unit will be assigned capers during the week. Please make sure your unit does their part. At WDC, we use mess kits. A mess kit is a set of non-breakable dishes, including a cup, bowl, plate, spoon, and fork that each adult, teen, and camper should bring to camp, 
each day for consuming their lunch. Everyone is responsible for washing their own dishes. Dishes are kept in a dunk sack, a mesh bag with a drawstring or zipper closure, which can be hung from a line for drying. They are often small laundry bags. The mess kit is a part of WDC packing list. You do not need to buy new dishes, simply gather old plastic dishes and utensils. The morning meeting is a daily check-in that occurs in the morning. The meeting is held at the barn each morning prior to camp or drop-off. This is a time when the camp director and other staff will communicate any important points for the day ahead. We can't stress enough how important it is to be on time for our morning meeting. Important daily notes and reminders and often safety concerns or heads up will be at the meeting. The meeting normally starts at 9 a.m. Each adult and team in their unit and stations will receive the written daily notes from the meeting. Stations are where pre-planned programming takes place. Program is the term used for the way the Girl Scout leadership experience is delivered and offered to the girls. Stations normally include music, crafts, first egg, flag, wilderness, woodworking and wood finishing, tool and knife safety, fire building, and knots. The number of stations we have each year depends on how many campers we have. Stations are for all ages of campers pre-K through 12th grade, as well as the boys unit and pixies. PA stands for Program Aid. A PA is a Girl Scout generally entering 8th grade or older who usually, but not always, has been a camper at WDC. Program Aids are assigned to units or stations to gain hands-on experience and skills that will help them become great leaders. Many PAs have been attending camps since they are brownies and bring with them knowledge and enthusiasm. Provide them with encouragement, guidance, and appropriately increased responsibility over the week. PAs are assigned to lead, assist, or help lead a unit. PAT stands for Program Aid and Training. PATs are not campers, but not quite yet a PA. These girls entering seventh grade or older are in a transition year. You can expect the PATs to rotate in and out of your units each day as they learn about working with different age groups and start building leadership skills. Offer them opportunities to assist the girls in your unit, or maybe even lead an activity or song. Please remember to have campers in your unit welcome the PATs when they arrive and thank them when they leave. On Monday, the PATs have a facilitator-led training and are working on earning their LEA award. They work with younger and older campers throughout the week and get child development training. It's a great experience as they get to work with most of the different ages of girls and rotate through the units. It is a transition year because it is their first time in leadership roles and have different expectations as they are no longer campers. They will slowly roll into becoming PAs during their PAT year. And when they return the next year, they will be PAs. In past years, PATs have had red shirts. Something else you should know is that the PAs and PATs get a daily break. Adult volunteers will help cover their breaks. This gives them to be a chance to be away from the kids for a little while. While PAs and PATs get breaks, adults are not given scheduled breaks, but will have free time here and there throughout the week. A station leader is an adult volunteer or skilled PA responsible for camper instruction in a specific skill areas. If you are a station leader, please watch your specific station videos. Or if you'd like to learn more about the different stations we have at WDC, you can go to our website, winvildaycamp.weebly.com. A unit is a group of campers, usually grouped according to the grade they'll be entering the fall following camp. For example, a third grader unit will have just completed second grade. Units are led by one or more PA unit leaders along with one or more PAs. A unit box contains the daily essentials you may need in your unit. Some of the items in your unit box will include is a tarp for sitting on damp grass, pens and markers, a first aid kit, a staff menu, and many other needed items. The unit box gets picked up by one leader from each unit prior to camp. Feel free to add other materials you'd like in your, to your unit box. While at camp, the box will be loaded into the truck each night. The unit box should be returned to the barn after lunch on Friday in the same condition it was picked up. The unit boxes are usually picked up one week prior to camp as there isn't enough room on the truck. Usually at the same time, t-shirts are given out to the unit leaders. If you pick up your unit box, 
you get to wash your t-shirts before you wear them. That's all the camp lingo we have for you today. If you have questions on other words or phrases, please see if another video answers your questions or email the camp director. We hope you learned something new. See you next time.